And right down there, have you guys ever tried to glue a bunch of beads together into a cone shape in hopes of it looking like an aesthetically pleasing chocolate display? No? Okay. Hey, Emily. I promise you this is not a fever dream. I just did that to scare all the Emilys. My name is Leanna, and if you saw my Lego video that I posted about a month ago, you would know that I really like Legos. But recently I've decided to take a break, a long needed break because of money and I hate clutter. But what happened is I was watching plenty of Lego videos on YouTube and YouTube decided to start recommending me these videos. Did I cave? Yes, of course I did. Building it was very interesting and fun and I'd like to bring you inside of it with me. Hey, I just wanted to point out that my tone of voice and the way I worded that entire sentence was really weird. But please keep watching. I'm going to give you a tour of my DIY chocolate store. One quick thing, I am going to be putting the link to buy this in the description in case anyone wants to go on this journey as well. Alright, so I'm just going to shrink you quick. You won't feel any different. Okay, and now I'm going to shrink myself. Hello everyone. I worked very hard on this chocolate store and I really wanted to show you around and brag about how beautiful it turned out while also showing the fairly evident flaws. I built on this plot of land that only cost $50. I don't know why it was so cheap, but who am I to pass up a deal? Anyway, come on in and I'll give you a tour. All right, we got the front counter. There is no cash register, so apparently everything is free. Um, these are beads on little sticks that I'm trying to pass off as suckers. Um, I promise you that is not just paper folded with dried glue oozing out. It's actually really cute, um, really delicious cookies. For this sucker holder, I didn't have a needle to poke holes for each of the suckers, so I had to use a mechanical pencil, and the lead almost went into my finger more than once. Um, otherwise, over here we have these cupcake looking things. I made them too tall, so then I had to cut out the top of the glass, but makeshift, you know, we made it work. Also, these cute little chocolate bags, I folded them and then squeezed them on the sides to bulge them out a little bit. I think they're gonna sell pretty well. Fun fact, I built this entire chocolate store out of just glue. Um, ideally, I would have used nails and wood and stuff like that, but I was on a budget. Um, but I don't think there's gonna be like earthquakes or anything, so I'm not too worried about that kind of stuff. All right, let's head over the corner. Okay, down there we have a sign that says chocolate always makes people happy, but the printing company forgot the L, so I'm just gonna blame them when it comes to that one. Might have to draw an L in on my own. Over here we have some chocolate bars that I folded myself, and uh, one of them I accidentally glued a little bit too far on the table before I realized the table needed to be put against the wall. So that's why it's curved upwards, but chocolate is chocolate, am I right? It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. I f***ed up the window. I put the glass on a little too soon so it didn't fit in the opening on the window crevice um, quite well enough, but from the outside you can't really tell. I'd like to call it a happy accident. Uh, from in here I think it gives it character, so I've come to accept it. Handmade chocolate sign. I don't make it myself. I stole a couple Oompa Loompas for that. Got some storage. I put chocolate, chocolate syrup, uh, put some Oompa Loompas in there. <clears throat> what? We're gonna head to the front and talk about some stuff up there in the entrance. Follow me. <sighs> Such a nice day out today. So this bow right here was originally a three inch string and turning into a bow was one of the most agonizing, hopeless, frustrating experiences of my entire life. You can see the end is kind of separating and falling apart, which represents each of my brain cells dying during the process. But guess what? I got it done. I got it done. All right, and this is not crumpled up foil. It is actually chocolate, I promise you. Um, this is a very cute little heart-shaped box down there. It might not look like a heart because I uh, make mistakes. And right down there, have you guys ever tried to glue a bunch of beads together into a cone shape in hopes of it looking like an aesthetically pleasing chocolate display? No? Okay, let's head over to the infamous crooked pole. Clearly crooked because I needed to feed wire down the bottom. I mean, let's be realistic. Now the instruction manual when I built this had me wrap a brown piece of paper around a stick and two wires with glue, which in my opinion is borderline impossible. 
and the image they had on their instruction booklet of the completed version, I think it was edited. I don't think that's actually possible to make it look good. All right, let's head over to the chairs. As you can see, it took me a few tries to figure out the placement of this table on the pole. That's why you can see some brown and glue remnants. But I think it gives a character, maybe a little bit of a vintage vibe, maybe. Now twisting wire around the surface of a tabletop and into the shape of chairs is no easy task. So if you see gobs of glue, that's gobs of desperation. If you see dry tears, that's going to be why. And I was getting very nervous about the process of making these chairs. But once I got them solidified to the ground, hope came back. And I think I might actually be able to give him a sit now. No, never mind. But I would give myself a 9 out of 10 for execution on these chairs and that they do look like chairs. You just need to be a fraction of a pound to sit on them. Again, it's not just crumpled up foil in that chocolate box. It's actually fresh chocolate made by the Oompa Loompas. Let's head to the back. All right, it's nothing too special back here. I messed up the pole on this fence, so I faced the ugly part of it back towards the park for everyone to see. Hey guys, I tried to be discreet with where I ran the light pole wire down here. And the, what is this graffiti already? Leanna did a mediocre ah, It was her. Ah. Huh? Who did this? It was him. Was it you? No. We're gonna head to the side now. Let's just head to the side. <laughs> Like I said, the window is bulging out a little bit, but you can't really tell it's an issue aside from the angled flower bed. I tried to angle a few greeting cards above it in an aesthetically pleasing way because that's what the instruction manual told me to do. I apologize if it looks a little rough. Impatience and craft glue don't mix too well. Again, the imperfections give it character. Got the natural chocolate sign as opposed to unnatural chocolate. We don't do that here. All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up. It was a very interesting experience, and I will likely buy another one if my dad will let me just put them on display in his office. Dad, if that's okay. Here's some quick footage of what the shop looks like at night. We do have a light system, which my father did have to help me with. I'd like to blame my middle and high school for not offering LED wire courses. If it couldn't get any better, there's also a music player behind it. Please visit us at 926. There will definitely be an earthquake here avenue right next to Keystone Park and pick up some chocolate for you and your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching. Oh wait, I'm gonna do another outro. If you are still watching, you are fantastic and I would like you to comment a rating out of 10, I can handle it, a rating that you would give me for my chocolate store. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, consider liking and subscribing, maybe turn on notifications and I'll see you next time. Let's head over to the, let's head, again, it's not just crumpled up foil in that circuit.